my friends, uh, and welcome to uh, our Revenge of the Sith game video. Uh, I'm your host, Busted Giant. With us uh, once again is uh, my my buddy Henry. How's it going? And I did not know this game existed. Yeah, I was like really surprised, and then I showed it to him, and he like turns it over, and I'm like, yeah, it's like this kind of lightsaber dueling game, but yeah, there's really not going to be very much structure to this. One of the things I found out about this game is there's actual like film cutscenes from the actual movie, which we won't unfortunately be able to show. So. Yeah. So I'm assuming you're playing as Anakin right now? Yep. The Chancellor isn't in this hangar. This is where they just crashed in, and yeah. And that's the same voice as the Clone Wars. I was going to say, that sounds remarkably like him. The guy who plays Anakin in this is not Matt Lanta, though. He sounds pretty good, though. Yeah, he sounds like Hayden, but in my opinion, he doesn't do a very good Anakin. He, yeah. ha he sounds even more... He's like... He amplifying like the monotone. Yeah, he sounds like he cares even less. Yeah. I also had to, um... Oh, quickly press it. Where you Oh yeah, it's the same voices as um, Battlefront 2. There we go. You can just kill them by throwing the Force at them? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. The Force, that's a problem with like a lot of the new Star Wars movies. They just add stuff to the Force. Like, yeah, they could do this the whole time. Then it makes all the other characters' decisions seem really, really dumb. Yeah, <clears throat> a prime example is um, Anakin trying to learn how to save Padme, and then you find out Force Heal was a thing the whole time in R The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of see where the intro, like where the continuity kind of gets saved because, like, or no, or he brought yeah, her back from the dead. Yeah, Kylo Ren does, or Ben, or whatever. Some nameless Sith that we forgot about. He's not a Sith. A actually, he's <laughs> um, not actually. A he's not a Sith. Then what is he? He's a oh. Knight of Ren. Oh, right, he's a Knight of Ren. Whatever that means. Yeah. We don't know, because the movies didn't even bother exploring it, so it didn't matter. Yeah, they don't. There was a lot of wasted potential in those. I know, because I remember when I first saw Force Awakens and I saw. Uh, Snoke? Yeah, I saw Snoke, like, sitting. He was giant. I'm like, okay, that's sick. And then it shows just projection. I just went, boo. Oh, really? Wasted opportunity. <laughs> Why would you make him look so cool and then immediately make him look lame? Yeah, that's true. Okay, I don't think I said boo immediately, but when I saw that he was small, like a standard sized human, I'm like, why would you waste your time making a projector showing him being like a skyscraper tall and then just not use it? I don't know, I feel like, there, like there's a huge advantage they could have done, but they also just wasted Snoke. I agree, yeah. I mean, because for those who don't know, The Last Jedi had a completely different director. J.J. Abrams directed 9 and 11, but 10 was directed by... 7 and 9. Sorry, 7 and 9 were directed by... Him, uh, and then who directed eight? Uh, Ryan Johnson. Yeah, so like Abrams kind of just set stuff up, and then it was just taken away. Then when Abrams got it back, he's like, "What well, am I supposed to do now?" Yeah, he's like, "Well, they kind of ruined what happened in the last movie, so we're just gonna have to bull crap our way through this." We're gonna we're just bring back Palpatine because why not? Yeah, because they killed Snoke too early. I had a feeling they were trying to make like the end fight between Ray and Kylo like the big thing, but I'm like, that wasn't really set up well. Yeah, and everyone thought that they were siblings. They weren't. And then a bunch of people were like, hey, they need to kiss. And then other people were like, no, they don't. Please, please don't kiss. No, they kiss. The Raylo fans. My cousin's more Raylo. Oh, really? Yeah, she disappoints me. I get that. My cousin, <laughs> she's a disappointment. What the? Always on the move. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I love about Star Wars prequels, is they're so quotable. And I've learned yeah, exactly. The best movies are the ones that you can quote religiously. I know, like um, the Spider-Man trilogy. Oh, I just hurt myself. <laughs> As a reminder, I could use your help here. <laughs> I've been told by so many of my friends that I look like Obi-Wan. I, I think I said that you could be an Obi-Wan, but I don't really think you look like him. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, if you decided to dress up like him, on God, you would look like him. Yeah. There was, um... Use the force loop! I mean Anakin! Sorry, that's early. Wrong movie! <laughs> there was, um... In, in my, uh... In high school, a bunch of friends and I, they they said to me that they wanted to do a shot-for-shot -shot remake of, of uh, Revenge of the Sith with, with me as Obi-Wan, but it never ended up happening. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Man. Like, I would have probably done, like, the original, like, trailer for the actual movie, the yeah, one that's A spoiled. trailer would be so much easier. Yeah. And the problem is, you're you're a great actor and all, but I would rather have you behind the camera, because you're just useful on set. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. So, like, um, although, to be fair, if I had a large group of people, and I'm like, okay, I can sacrifice a good behind-the-scenes person, because I know he's going to be a good actor, then yeah. that's good to have, but you don't always have that luxury. I don't know if you got, uh, if everyone knows, but we're both video production students, so we, we make videos for fun and for class, so a lot of times yeah. it's like, because, I mean, again, we're we were in the BG versus PT. BG VPT, yeah. Yeah, we were in that fight, so you'll probably hear us make quips about our major quite a bit. Oh, yeah, of course. You stay here with the ship. Why did they say his name? They spelled R2-D2 as an A-R-T-O-O. -O. Yeah, that's, that's what they did in the original script. Really? Yep. Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that was it? 
Yep, that's the first level. Now we're gonna move on to a boss fight. Then There's a this. skill tree? Yeah. Why is there a skill tree? <laughs> So you know you can canonically say my powers have doubled since the last time we've met count. <laughs> my powers have doubled. Yes. Good. Where's the pride? I double, double the fall. <laughs> I feel like so many people are gonna like leave the um the video. They're gonna be like, oh, a couple Star Wars nerds constantly quoting it. And wh what's your problem? <laughs> yeah. You clicked on the video. You know what you're signing up for. Yeah, it's a Star Wars video. I mean, to be fair, a non-Star Wars fan playing this game would be kind of funny. I heard Darth Vader. He's pretty cool. That's Kylo Ren. Wasn't his name Dark Vader? <laughs> Dark Vader. Our yeah. Powers have doubled since we last met, Count. Twice, Twice the, the pride, pride, double, double the fall. Oh, wow. Boy. <laughs> boy? He became Kratos for a second. <laughs> boy. Okay, so is this... Oh, it is. What the... This is just like a fighting game. This is actually way cooler than I thought it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do, like one more level and then we're gonna do the dual mode yeah because like you were talking to me about how a lot of the games you want to play are like really bad like movie video games that were just made for publicity but this game actually this is like, actually a good that's actually a good game yeah <laughs> i see the i see the pixels on my eyebrow <sighs> oh i just shocked the wall i just shocked myself <laughs> i just shocked myself so as the blue barb of your hit points to the force meter? Yeah. Just imagine those HUDs appear in the movie. Ah, oh, my force meter is depleted. He, like, it's like on his watch. He's like, yeah. Obi-Wan, I can't! Do it! Recharge! I can't recharge! These metachlorians don't last forever, okay? You said that you were the chosen one, Anakin! Doesn't mean I'm all-powerful! It literally, it literally does mean you're all-powerful, Anakin! I'm working on it, okay? Well, work on it faster! Do I, better! I'm a subpar chosen one! <laughs> subpar chosen one. I'm the great value chosen one, master! <laughs> the great value! Oh, that must hurt. <laughs> oh, that must hurt. <laughs> that was shocking. Shut up! Is that the, the Clone Wars Dooku voice actor? Yep, Corey it's, Burton. It sounds, it sounds a lot like him. Also, can I just say how funny it was when people saw Ahsoka? This isn't a spoiler to the show, I swear, but how they saw Ahsoka in the show, the live-action young version of her, it's like, that looks nothing like the Clone Wars version. It's like, look at Dooku in the Clone Wars. <laughs> yeah. His face is a rectangle. And that's like, anyone who, like, looks so terrible, like, if you're gonna complain about a character not looking like they're animation counterpart yeah just look at dooku although i didn't really watch the clone Wars that much didn't people like hate ahsoka when she first was that i think so they just found her like really annoying and now she's like one of the most prominent characters you, you did well Anakin. <laughs> do it <laughs> do it he actually says that in the force unleashed you were destined to destroy me you do were it. destined to destroy me do it <laughs> do it critical like what you hit him in the head or something Slap him. Slap him across the face like that one Batman meme. <laughs> Shut up, Robin. <laughs> Shut up, Robin. Or like, that would- you could just replace like Obi-Wan and Anakin with that. Shut up, Anakin! Anakin, stop panicking! I wanted to do like the fight between Anakin and Mace Windu, but uh, I'd rather just do this first. Yeah, this is iconic. Oh yeah, of course. And it's like the one of the longest like sword fights in cinema history. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I love voice acting because yeah. they're forced to be a little over dramatic, of course. But with like the grunts and everything, I love the I love the cliche like um, little quips that they had to do that are like pre-recorded that are like this ends now. Yeah, it's I know. such a cliche thing to say. No, I, I've played video games where like I heard the same line six times. Oh yeah, of course. It's like come on, stand down. Stand down. I mean it. You better stand down. You're trying to get me into giving away something. It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. It has worked! He'll give it everything away! Then make your choice. I will, and I choose- What the world could that be? What? Where? Oh, nothing. I could have sworn I saw something. What's so funny? <laughs> I I'll tell you in a minute! <laughs> <laughs> just go- just, just go through the whole movie. Yeah, exactly. Just go through like the whole movie. We talked about Star Wars with a stunning video, and now we're talking about Princess, Princess Bride with a Star Wars video. Yeah. <laughs> See, what I love about games like this is, I remember during the Dooku fight you just had, Dooku was juggling you at some point, where he was oh, yeah. hitting you a couple times, you stay in the air, I'm like, you would just turn into a chopped salad. You wouldn't really, yeah. you wouldn't be juggled. That did not work at all. Try spinning, that's usually a good trick. <laughs> good idea, Anakin. 
You are the chosen one! You are meant to destroy the Sith, not join them! Bring balance to the Force, not leave it in darkness! What, what button do I press? All of them! All of them! <laughs> just bash the controller, or like that one clip from the Amazing World of Gumball where Gumball is just button mashing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought he said, hey now. Hey you're, now! You're an all-star. <laughs> Why are you shouting that? You shouldn't be shouting that. That just makes the line of Kenobi, the, the Kenobi show even more useless. Yeah. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> God, that movie has some of the worst lines Star Wars. They fly now? They, they fly, fly now! now. <laughs> so bad. Like, it was supposed to be funny, but wow, dude. There was, have you seen the Obi-Wan show? Yeah. So you know the scene where like Obi-Wan has to like hide Leia in his coat? Uh, like even the actress who played Leia said that that was ridiculous. There are so many scenes, a lot of the dumb scenes in that show involved Leia. Like the, I think it was the first or second show where she was being chased by those robbers. I'm like, oh yeah. They could be, tr they could not be trying less. So like, oh come here little girl, oh I tripped. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Come and on. she's like running at the same speed as they are and they can't catch her. I like, can run faster than her backwards. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I mean, I get that show is fan service, it doesn't need to exist, but there were some cool stuff in it, and I did like Yeah, it had its moments. Yeah, I don't know, I was talking this about to you at one point, how at one point I think that show was greenlit for a second season, but I'm like, I hope it doesn't. Yeah, they don't need that. They The main reason that they were doing that was to bridge the gap for Obi-Wan between episodes one and two, and they've already done that in the first season. Right? Like, I mean, look, I love Ewan McGregor. He's one of my oh, yeah. favorite actors ever. But... The only reason I liked that show was it gave an excuse for Ewan and Hayden to work together again. Oh, yeah, of course. Which I thought was great. And they had great chemistry, and those two know how each other fight. Because Hayden was in the Vader suit for most of it, right? Yeah, I think so. Which is cool as heck. Like, I'm really glad that they... <laughs> Let me just throw this off the side. <laughs> I won't fight you, Anakin. Did the prophecy lie? Did the prophecy lie? <laughs> These lines are kind of out of order. The prophecy lie? I mean, their force is calling you home. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker is dead! Come home! Please! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Damn it! I was trying. You got him. I don't think I did. I think he won that. Oh, because Obi-Wan kicked him. No, I'm playing as Anakin. You are? Yes! I thought you were playing as Obi-Wan! <laughs> There, it was. This is the other version where you play as Anakin. You can play. You can play this level like two different versions. One where you're playing as Obi Wan. One where you're playing as Anakin. I had no idea. Come Cano on. Canonically, you play the good guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. But you can play this level as the villain, which is I there, am. Is there an alternative ending to the one as Anakin? Shh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm actually doing it! Yeah, yeah! I was like mashing square and X together. My man put wow. an entire arm into that. Yes! I put both arms into that! <laughs> Y'all should have seen that. I wish you could have seen my face cam for that. In theory, he could just force push you off into Yeah, he actually. Fight back! Come on! Do it! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Hey, girl! I am becoming more powerful than any Jedi has ever dreamed of. <laughs> I told you I was the best. There's a lot of lines in like episode two that I just hate. Oh my gosh, the one scene where like Anakin and like Padme are like talking together. I'm haunted by the kiss you should never have given me. Hey, what do you do when you like have that aura around you? Are you getting your force back? Quickly? Yeah, it's a force heal. Even in this game, is a force heal. Yeah. I could have used this on Padme. Yeah. No, Anakin, you can only use it on yourself. That's the rules of the game. Come on. <laughs> You'll never beat me as you're being lifted in the air. <laughs> I really want Anakin to do his behind the back spin move. Because <laughs> Hayden just does it whenever he can, which I always think that's hilarious. Right. I do it a lot too whenever I'm practicing my. You, did you do it in the BDB? BD, BD, I don't BD think fight? I did. Eh, next time. Yeah. I mean, there's totally not gonna be a. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> sequel. We're making a sequel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there may be a sequel. We've been discussing it, kind of. I feel like if you're if you eat zone, by zone I mean like keep your distance, this fight could theoretically go on forever. Oh there we go, finally. Oh that's sick. Oh yeah. Did Obi-Wan taunt Anakin saying if he's afraid? That does not seem in character at all. Yeah, I know. They just they just put whatever voice lines they feel like. 
There's that's what I hate about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game, the one that's based off of the second Andrew Garfield movie. Because like when during um uh the fight with Electro, um they're mixing between like um quips for Spider-Man where he's like making fun of Electro, but then he's also like trying to help him and be like, "Max, I figured out what they're doing at Ravencroft." Oh, I got it. You underestimate the power. Oh. Of the oh, so that's how it was supposed to work. Yeah. What the? I feel like Palpatine would have sensed that was coming. Cause can he sense hostility? I think so. Yeah. Get <laughs> shot. Versus. Here we go. Wait, they have, they have Alec Guinness. Yeah. Aw, that's they also awesome. Got, they also got Vader. Okay, that's kind of. Yeah. They have two Vaders, so there's light side and dark side Vader. I guess that that we can differentiate. Uh, well, actually, if you play as Obi Wan and I play as Grievous, that could be kind of a funny back and forth. Oh yeah, of course. You'd have to try and imitate Grievous though. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Here, no, 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 let's do this. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> you won't yeah. win this time. You're in over your head, you know. Thanks. I'd better stay in shape. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. What? It's, I feel like that's an exclusive line for when he fights his older self. What do he say? He said, you've shown me one thing. I'd better stay in shape. Funnily enough, between the two of us, you are the more in shape. <laughs> I mean, you're not out of shape. Oh, I am out of shape. What do you mean? I, I can I can barely run for very long. Um, I sweat really easily. I just come from an athletic family where I kind of had to. Oh, okay. You're toying with me, Anakin. Wait, you're not Anakin. Sorry, I'm old now. I'm, I'm, I'm delirious. I'm a delirious old man. Oh, that's not working at all. What? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. And he's floating. Although, to be fair, though, if I killed you... I would cease to exist. Yes. Based on Back to the Future logic. Exactly. Although, if you had to pick a movie that has the best time travel, in terms of how it works, what would you pick? Well, I mean, I've only really seen Back to the Future and Doctor Who, so... Oh, Doctor Who is confusing, though. Actually, no, Vader. I like Vader. Well, I feel like we're going on a theme here. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can't see any of this. This is so low res. Yeah, I know. There's so many pixels. Oh, Did I really speak? Do I really speak like this in the future? Yes. Because <laughs> James Earl Jones is not in the outfit in the original, right? Oh, no, no, no. He's just the voice. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're the body. Oh, wow. I'm learning. <laughs> Round two. Fight! Imagine if there were fatalities in a Star Wars fighting game. That would, that be, would be sweet. awesome, dude. They could get really creative with that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it would. Kids would be playing that, so you don't want to scare kids. Nah, so you'd have scare to scare them off. This is a game for adults. This is a man game. Why Wait. is Why is Vader able to use Force Lightning? Um, this is not accurate. <laughs> Your death will be swift. Young me, even Here. though I will cease to exist. We both will, if you really think about it. Holy crap, you destroyed me, man. I'm trying really hard not to button mash, but I'm trying to, like, learn- it's, It is okay, dude. I mean, kind of, okay, I'm gonna do Mace Windu this time. I'll try Grievous out. Okay. Because Grievous, in this character, shouldn't have the Force, correct? No, technically he doesn't. He can't, like, use it, but I think he was, like, given midi-chlorian so that he can use lightsabers better or something, but, yeah. Though that's how it works. Maybe, I'm not sure. I mean, what are midi-chlorians? I've heard that word, and I feel like it, it determines how close you are with the Force, but... They have at least, like, a few midi-chlorians. They, they made it a really technical thing in the prequels. Yeah, I think people got really mad about that, didn't they? Oh, yeah, they did. Come here. Come here. What? <laughs> that's my Force? I have a blaster? You know what? I'm Force. That's cool. Ah! Oh, oh, that's how I pull out of four blades. <laughs> oh, it died. When you're really letting you surprised. ready to fight, let me know. I don't feel like I'm playing this character canonically. Grievous wouldn't be a heavy blocker. Yeah, no, he's definitely more of the chaotic offensive guy. Oh, that's. Oh, I was almost sick, actually. I almost wanted to let you have that. I can't. You can't? No. <laughs> okay, that's a little unfair, but you have a really powerful attack. Yeah, it evens out. Yeah. They definitely thought about that. Yeah. 
How do you repair a robot mid-battle? If he's carved up, he's carved up. Did you just say robot? Actually, it's droid in Star Wars. I'm probably gonna do Obi-Wan. Dooku. Swords, please. Your swords, please. Got to make Meshi get part of the Chancellor. You won't get away this time, Dooku. I was in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Did you hear the story about Christopher Lee in Lord of the Rings? I a little bit. So what ended up happening? Oh, the stab thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So for those who don't know, he was in a scene and they were talking about how someone was going to get stabbed. And since Christopher Lee was a British soldier, he was in like World War Two or something. Yeah, he's like. Oh, that is not what being stabbed is like. <laughs> that's just awesome. When yeah. an actor really knows his stuff, I know that's a sad way to learn. Like, it's not good that he was in Oh, combat. yeah, of course. It's like how Sam Witter corrects Dave Filoni at every level. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you um? Did you hear about what he did in, like, the, the Ghosts of Mortis arc? No. So what happened was um, Anakin uh, is, like, talking to, like, his mother's ghost or something, or, like, a hallucination. Huh? Anakin originally says, I have a wife now and I want you to meet her. And Sam Witwer, after they're done recording that, he goes, well, we got to go back and redo that. You already met her. Yeah. Yeah, because Dave Filoni, like, he's like, oh, yeah, she has. And he, like, puts his uh, hat over his face. And um, Ashley Eckstein, the actress who played um, Ahsoka, or Eckstein, or however you pronounce it, she says to Sam, I don't think I've ever heard someone out geek. Nerd Filoni. Out, out nerd or out geek Dave Filoni. Oh, okay, so that's not an exclusive oh, that one. That would have been a good line just to have as him. Oh, yeah. They actually do stuff like that, like, um, in the new LEGO Star Wars game, where, like... You won't win this time. You won't win this time. Dude. Oh, do you see how low I am compared to... I know, to that was a close fight. Yeah. Qui-Gon, though, I spoke very highly of you. Now he is Qui-Gon. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he did a really, really cringy, evil laugh. That's not in character at all. Yeah, I don't see Count Dooku doing that. Oh. I love how he stands like, all right, I'm dead. And then just falls over. Oh, yeah, just like realizing, oh, I've been stabbed. Uh, okay, why don't we do like one more? Yeah, let's do one more. I'll do Obi-Wan. Anakin. Now, yeah, let's just do this one. When I was a kid, I would always do the dual mode on um, The Force Unleashed, which was with the Wii Remote. That, that's what I've played. Oh, that, okay. that was That was fun. Oh, yeah, I love that. Although, I mean, if they made a game like Mortal Kombat that was Star Wars characters, that would be... I would enjoy that immensely. Oh, absolutely. This is probably the closest they've ever gotten. Well, actually, no, they did actually make something like that. I think it was, like, Jedi Power Battles or something like that. But I heard it wasn't very good. Ha! <laughs> Take this! I've bested you! Anakin, shut up. Ha! <laughs> Anakin, quit grunting like that. You just sound so stupid. You sound silly. <laughs> you sound silly, Anakin. Anakin. <laughs> but what else is new? I feel like Palpatine would be the announcer of this game. Like, play it, dude. Oh, that'd be awesome if that they would... got, like, Ian McDermott to do oh, that okay. voice. Round one. Fight. Fight. How many Mortal Kombat games have you played? None. Oh, dude, they're so fun. I mean, I've played, like, Injustice Gods Among Us. Close enough. Yeah, but I'm not very good at games like that. I mean, you're good at this, and it's not that different. The only difference yeah. is you have, it's more, it's a three-dimensional movement space. So you can, oh, yeah, like, move course. to your left and right. Oh, I think I'm down. Oh, I'm down. Yeah. Well, that was um, the Force Un the Force Unleashed, the Revenge of the Sith, the video game. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Henry, for joining me. Yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. See you later.